My name is Gaia Dempsey. I'm the VP of Marketing at Daiquiri. Our mission is to give a whole new dimension to ideas. So we're here at the Neuro Gaming Conference 2014 showcasing our 4D applications. We work in education, uh, storytelling, and industrial. Those are kind of our three main verticals. We have some storytelling applications here and uh, some education applications. And we've also started to play around with the future of interaction design and incorporating EEG technology into how you can control a 4D interface. So one example of our educational applications is called Elements 4D. And that's an application where you take these six beautifully designed wooden blocks and you can think of them kind of like um, an alphabet, a set of alphabet blocks, but instead of the letters of the alphabet, they each have uh, a symbol on one side of the face, on, on one uh, cube face, on each cube face of the uh, elements of the periodic table. And when you look at it through the Elements 4D app, it recognizes that cube face and displays a representation of that element in 4D. And when you put two blocks together, they actually react and form a, um, a new chemical compound. And so you get to see that reaction. And people are already using it around the country in classrooms uh, to engage their students in a new way and to take advantage of programs where they're providing iPads to classrooms, but they don't necessarily have the software um, to engage the kids and use, use that hardware in a way that actually informs learning rather than just you know playing Candy Crush or something like that. So um, that's one example. Another example is um, our Anatomy 4D app. That's another education example. And in, in, in um, Anatomy 4D, it has almost a million downloads worldwide. You actually see the full human body in 4D and it's a completely interactive learning environment where you can go through and learn about the different body systems and move through the body and spatially understand the interrelationships of the body systems to each other. And this app um, gives uh, medical students a way to study. It gives um, medical teachers and professors a way to maximize time in the gross anatomy lab because this prepares students for that setting and um, also gives you the opportunity to have interaction capabilities that you couldn't even have with a real with a real human body because it's digital because it's dynamic and you can change it and you can interact with it and move through it. And then on the neuro gaming side, we have um, an application here called MindLight, and MindLight allows you to combine an EEG device. We're here with the NeuroSky, a MindWave device, and um, a see-through display hardware, such as Google Glass. It works with other um, devices as well. And when you combine the, the capabilities of those two devices, you can use our app that runs on Google Glass called MindLight, and you look at, in this case, a lamp, and it, it uses the image recognition to recognize that lamp, tell you that you've selected it, and then you have a visual interface that gives you the feedback um, about your concentration. And so you can use your concentration level to cross over this threshold and control the lamp itself. So you can turn the lamp on and off. And that, to us, is a, um, kind of a, a way to leapfrog the, 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 the progression of interaction design because we think that gestures where you're putting your hands out, you're kind of waving around and you're controlling interfaces with these big sweeping gestures, it's not necessarily going to work on a day-to-day -day basis. We think that controlling interfaces, controlling 4D interfaces with your mind is actually much more powerful. 